Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game The Shore, and this time I actually mean it. The game literally just came out today. Uh, okay, view controls. Now that suggests I can use my controller. Can I? E, I, C. Ooh, press to fight back against what? Yeah, yeah I can. Horror King, I saw that question. You asked if this was a horror game and what type of horror game. And then this one over here snarkily responded that he had already responded, yes, it's a horror game because it's an H.P. Lovecraft game. And I guess that's what type of game it is. That is what that means. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I tried to do it without taking a breath. All right, so let's find this locket. A shred of hope. All what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. I think you mean all that a man needs. Me of the walks I think that's a typo. My wife. All right, so our boat has crashed. That's a bad sign. This is a bad place to crash a boat, everybody. Because, you know, the sea monsters. I really need to know why it's a bad sign. I might, I mean, what about it makes it a bad sign? Okay, I need you to look down. What do you see? What? What? What does the ground look like? Ground? What color is it? black and is that a normal color for a beach to be i was making a pun it wasn't clear a boot it a there's boat? been no beats in the boots in the game a boat a boat a boot you're trying to say a boat yes yeah that was so far like there were so many levels to that pun that i don't think anyone could have deciphered right. it all right so we've got our inventory here so we got a picture of a guy saying goodbye to his granddaughter I guess, before boating somewhere. We've got the locket. <sighs> For when I was... I can't read a word of that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's where the picture's from, everybody. There you go. And I can't look at that. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, so those are palm trees in the distance. Where the hell are we? Hey, Burb! What's up? You having a good time? I think that Burb's having a good time. You know this game was entirely made by a single person? Nice. Yeah. Been arguing with John about how many did you th see the thing that went viral on Twitter today? Definitely didn't. Of the, so, Star Trek got it right? That's just what Mars looks like? <laughs> Yeah. Something is leading them back here. You are reading this. We need your help. So weird seeing Mars without any like color tinting done to the photos, and it's like, no, it's just looks like a gravel pit somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Totally normal. Yeah, just a uh, looks like Although, any other gravel pit. I did pit. find out something today. So you know that video that they released of Mars with the sound? They actually have to augment the sound. Why is that? Because of the C the high CO2 in the atmosphere, all sound is going to sound yes. different. Yes. It'll all sound, what, higher? Lower. Oh, because CO2, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I listened to a podcast this morning. And awesome. The, the... Mars mm -hmm. rover. Thank you. What is that? Hey, that's plastic. What year is this set? This set present day? Ooh. Fantabulous. Check it out. Lighthouse in the distance. It was on the loading screen, which, it, which means it's time to check it out. I'm sure Bendy will be back, Isaiah. Don't worry. Uh, what a gorgeous, decrepit shore. Wait, did I just pick up something? I No, that's the note I already had. I heard the tinkle of something, you know, clinking. Thought that meant I found something, but I was wrong. Okay, we've got a they speak of a boat. fisherman who was lost in the stranded sea. He never oh. came back. Now I know where he lies. Mm. Or when misfortunes come well, drove how do you know that this is that specific guy's like do you know what he was dressed as? Or is this another fisherman? Awesome pants, by the way, dude. Just stellar pants. Great pants choice. Alright. Creepy Isaiah. 
Seriously, I find it very weird that I seem to be the only person on the entire internet who ever played How Mosquito Became Human. You're very obsessed with it. Well, have you ever experienced, like, you're the only person who's ever read a book? I have offered my right arm. Yes, because I've read books of yours. I know, but other people have read those. That's true. Pain uh... me towards my demise. Also, this is a commercially released game that no one has played. Weird. What day is this? Oh, we didn't list what day. I am tired, Joanne, but I am good. It was a good day. I just uh -oh. had a lot of, uh... I some, well, it's been a day of technical glitches, because I, you know, it was a day of technical glitches and... I get it, Koa. Zombie Night Terror's the best game. Stuff like that. And various conference calls. Hmm. Of which one was with someone who's supposed to be solving problems we have with uh, online calls with our customers. And she couldn't even figure out how to take her camera off. You know when you, like, mute all the cameras? Oh, of course. The, the call, like, the host of the call can do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she couldn't figure out that she had done that. And I'm like, oh. well, my camera's on, and I can't see anybody or you, so you've muted all the video. That's terrible. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yep. Although the dude had to leave the lighthouse. Uh, but, yeah, it was Wait. good, other than, you know. The controls are literally wrong. It just said shift or hit R to toggle run, but it's thumb click left to toggle run. <laughs> like, the controls are literally wrong. Listen. And how was your day, Joanne, and everyone else? I like hearing about people's days. Who doesn't? Right? Okay. Oh, I got to wear my new glasses at work today, and a whole bunch of people complimented me. Which made me very happy. Oh, damn! And I matched my eyeshadow to my shirt and my hair clip and my face mask were all the same color and it made me super happy. Apparently his wife was killed by Panomia. But I didn't the have worst time to kind put of new Nomia. shoelaces in my brand new sneakers. So my shoelaces didn't match my outfit, which made me really sad. They have lots of drying racks here, but no fish. That worries me. Have you seen me. the Lighthouse movie? Uh, uh, no, I hear is it's that good. the one with, uh... The black and white one. The, with, uh, what's his name? Willem Dafoe, yeah. And, uh... Robert Pattinson, Sparkly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. It was filmed on the East Coast in, like, a tiny town. Well, that's upsetting. Like, in Canada, I should say. I'm a little nervous about this guy right here. You want to say Nova Scotia? Nova Scotia. Yeah, it was filmed in Nova Scotia. And William Dafoe just chose to live in a tiny little cabin in the remote area of Nova Scotia they were filming it in. Just like, I'm gonna be rustic. He is wonderful. Yep. Alright, let's do it. No, I've heard that and I look forward to seeing it. Is it on a streaming service yet? Um... What the hell's that? Elder Thing. It's the part of the race that invented the Shoggoth and lived in Antarctica. Their bodies are shaped like barrels. It's very creepy. We don't actually know what their race is called, as far as I can tell. I'm trying to remember if we ever find out what Yithians oh, actually well, look I'm like. Well, I'm glad Pal got lot washed, your uh, puppy. Uh, even if he didn't like it. Um... It rained there all day. It snowed here all day. Oh, if it's on Amazon Prime, I'll be able to watch it. Thanks, Marissa. All right, so, focus up. Our captain says we should take it back with us and it could make us rich. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. David, on the other hand, believes a foul stench of evil dwells within the statue. What other rubbish from the moment we wrecked here? It hasn't stopped. He hasn't stopped talking about bad luck and other words the omens. Oof. Disgusting leeches. Nine stomachs and thirty brains? What the hell? Uh-oh. Well, that's creepy. Asymmetrical mouths all over its body. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. 
27 days out here. How could such a thing exist? How does God justify this act? How can we allow such monsters? Okay. To read that later. Yay, we got a key! Which is weirdly hard to look at. Anything else here we can check out? Oh. Well, I'm glad you're still able to trampoline even in the snow. That is another weird statue. So is this the one they thought was cursed, or is it the elder thing? I picked this one up. That's something. Okay. I know you're bored here out on this island, but who did a pencil sketch of the Venus de Milo from memory? Except Headless. It's a weird choice, is all I'm saying. Okay. Never get snow where you are, Papa God. Oh, hammocks. You're the best. They are. Wanna go lie in the hammock in the snow? That's my plan. Right? Sounds like so much fun. Oh, yeah. Load up my Mario and go hammock in the snow. Yeah, I don't think it's too cold to, to Mario out there. I don't oh, think God, though. So yeah, I under a blanket. It's fine. Okay. Oh. Shapes and sculptures. are They are eerie. So it turns out there's a really good chance Sid Vicious did not kill Nancy. Hmm. Yeah. Like, it's actually unlikely that he did. And had there oh. been a trial, he probably would not have been convicted. Not even a little bro. Oh, uh, Koa wants to know if everybody has a horror, favorite horror movie. I'm sorry, we missed that. Oh, did not see it, Koa. The chat's moving pretty quickly. My eyes are not focused. Obviously, very the well correct right? answer is the thing, but I'm sure if people have other favorites that are wrong, I'd love to hear about them. Mm. What is that? Okay, well, we're going to use this uh, telescope to have a look at it. This is actually pretty good. Hey, it's more of those coins, I think. I've always been partial to no, Evil those Dead, nails. too. Wonderful movie. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, I really completely love intact Get modern Out. boat, everybody. Completely intact modern boat. Just have to get there. Uh, yes. Uh, legendarily, I saw the first Paranormal Activity film in theaters and left for 20 minutes and read a book in the lobby and didn't miss a goddamn thing. It's true. <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> oh, Paranormal Activity. Uh, as a horror movie, you're not fantastic. As a portrait of uh, a toxic relationship with a scumbag guy abu uh, gaslighting his girlfriend, really good job. Doom guy, are you in Texas? Do you have snow? That's crazy. I mean, yeah. I've heard that Evil you Dead know, Two is magnificent. Y'all have snow down there, uh, to borrow a phrase, but uh, yeah. Huh. Of course you're a fan of his chainsaw hand. He has his hand cut off. That's absolutely her thing. Can we turn this thing back on? I know a lot of people like them. It's just, I'm not, I'm not a huge horror aficionado, as it were. Uh, but, uh, and I find, like, found footage horror movies on the whole to usually be just meh. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, I also left, what was it, the new Blair Witch one? Yes. So, uh, was it the most recent one? Yes. I also walked out of that one and read in a lobby for, like, the entire movie. The shaky cam uh, drives me crazy. I find it really bothers my head a lot. And also, you know what phones have in them? Do you know what all video ca uh, cameras have in them now? Stabilizers. Nothing is that shaky unless you make it that way. Okay. Yeah, the, his, his uh, Ash fighting his evil hand is kind of awesome. It's it's a wonderful. No sequence. school for an entire week, Doom guy. Jeez. Damn. Keep your head down and uh, try to stay warm. Okay. 
And was if that you need the right any advice about staying warm, whoa, 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 whoa. We've weathered many a Was that a good idea? Oh, this might not be a good idea. I might have told people that I'm here. Yo! I love Joel Grey. And, uh, what was super racist about that episode of The Muppet Show, Brian? Swedish Chef? Probably the Swedish Chef. Just... Just super offensive portrayal. There was even a, a problematic scene in the uh, uh, Muppets Treasure Island, which we watched recently. Yep. Still a great movie, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we've got another boat to find. Ooh. Aw, dude made a, what, fish fillet? Wait a minute. If he fried that in a pan, how does it have grill marks? I think we're going to find out that this is all a VR simulation. Because that, that filet of fish couldn't exist. A Turkish love song. Oh, wow. Yeah, that probably is not great. Another one of these towers that I don't know how to deal with. What about X-Men? A walking simulator, Horror King. That's what kind it is. Cool, Bendy. Cool. Alright, so this weird statue, can I do something with it now that I have items? What if I use this key? I can't use items. If I use the statue. No, you can't use items in the game. Hmm. Probably, Marissa. Wouldn't surprise me at all. And what have we here, pray tell? Another dead end. Uh-oh. That's a fishman mask. So, did they honor the fishman who killed him? Or did they bury a fishman? <laughs> well, R.I.P. technically means requisite in pace. But yes, rest in peace. What the hell? You see the dead There's something I would like to show you. Uh, what is that, boys? Get out of my head. Oof. Okay, that was rough. Oh, good, there's a skeleton next to the pit. And 30 skeletons inside the pit. Huh. Ah, uh, he thought they were completely alien, Brian. Moore. Uh, Brian. H.P. Lovecraft looked at sea creatures and thought that it was the same as a creature from another world, which in a way they are. So he's like, if you want people to have viscerally haunted reactions to a real life thing, something that, you know, people just be sickened by when he saw it, he's like, always go to sea creatures for inspiration. He, sea creatures first, and he thought insects second. But he would all, it was his default, like, this must be the terrifying thing. And then, of course, he had the greatest inspiration ever, which in his notebook he wrote down two words. Do you know what those two words were? That's right. Those two words were vampire dog, question mark? Whoa. Okay... And how do we do that exactly? Do you want to give me a heads up on that, monster voice? Definitely a sacrifice pit doom guy. And the question is, how many people did they have to sacrifice before the portal started working? 
That's my question. Do 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 do. Well, that's spinning. Presumably, I'm supposed to be spinning that. This game is called The Shore Puppet. By the way, this really does feel like it was made by someone who has been near, like, Ireland or Scotland or the east coast of Canada. Like, this rocky gray water. Yeah. That's just authentic. Yeah. It's fabulous. It is one of my favorite places. Yellow temperance gone nuts. Way to go. Now, right, what do we have here? So I really just have to send these three spin uh, thin sp things spinning? Okay, so that's one. That's spinning, that's spinning. Let's uh, go back to the first one. Maybe we can move it now. What's over there? Nothing. All right, let's do this. Yeah, they're still spinning. I feel like something very bad is about to happen, Koa. But I don't have a lot of other options other than stopping playing the game, oh. so. Good to know, Doom Guy. All right. All the pieces are spinning. Something's waking up. Oh God! It was a it was a it was a living thing. It was a living thing, everybody. Oh Jesus. Okay. That's pretty terrifying, actually. Good job. Good job, game. Yeah, the monolith was a giant crab. What's it up to? Is the portal closed? No, portal's open. I just want to see what the giant crab's up to before I make any commitments about where we're going next. Yeah, it does look a little like a stone sword as an obelisk. You know what would be great? If he walked like uh, 50 yards to the right and he's like, Actually, you know what? I'm taking a break. I, uh, I have not moved in 18 centuries. I guess I'm a little out of shape. As a, as a giant obelisk made out of, a crab made out of stone. I see that, Koa. No, I guess more like Wales than Ireland. I'm talking about the really rocky coast. Yeah, or up in north of Scotland. Bad Wolf Bay from yeah. this episode Oof. of uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Whom, yeah. Oh, so you know that new uh, show that we were kind of interested in watching about the AIDS epidemic in the 80s in England? Of course. Uh, it's it's Russell T. Davies. Oh. I oh. know. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I he's mean, very bad at writing Doctor Who, but maybe he's good at other well, things. Well, Spoke wasn't bad. was a good show. That's yeah. my point. Yeah, I think it's kind of like slowed to a stop. So we're just going to... You do you, Dr. Monolith. I'm out of here. They're uh, way back out of here, creepy voice. Ah, what if I go through the other side of it? Nope, same place. Okay, well, maybe it left something when it walked away? What are you up to, weirdo? That's what I was thinking, Koa. I did, and then we commented on it. You gotta get better about listening to our responses, Horror King. You ask questions, and you don't listen to the response. Then you ask if we responded to your question. We're like, yes, we did. We should start doing what Horror King does to us. Yeah? You know how he's always like, go back and check the comments? Oh, yeah, just tell him to rewind. Go back and check the live yeah. stream. What was the last comment? 
Oh, yeah. Damn. You did see that. Yeah, and we talked a whole yeah. thing about and, it. And then we made a Doctor Who reference. Yeah, it was a whole spiel. And then I started talking about Russell T. Davies. It was a whole thing. See? All right, we well. Like, more like whales. So, remember Bad Wolf Bay? Yeah, the that Indiana. dude is obviously late for the party, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. He seems like he's got his spike in the right place. But I'm not clear on what we're supposed to be doing. I have not, Elliot. What is Pascal's Triangle? Are you familiar with Pascal's Triangle? No. Yeah. Nope. Please educate us, Elliot. We would love to hear it. I mean, it God, sounds... Eucalyptus is the best. Right? It sounds kind of familiar, but... Not to me. I'm also horrible with remembering names and titles for things. Do you have a plan for how to get me out of here, monster? Can I climb up this? Oh, I can climb up the <laughs> side. It's fine. We're teasing, Horror King. Well, you say we can't blame you, but you know, I feel like maybe we can? You're being a pest tonight. I am. You're welcome. Hey, there he is! Where you off to, buddy? Seriously, what is what is his problem? Also, Horror King is a general rule. Maybe don't ask us a question right before leaving this stream. Uh... Ow! Ah, oh, you're both monsters. Alright, so what are we supposed to do now? Any ideas, peeps? Mm. We just follow the monster? Maybe. It's kind of know. boring. I don't know. I find him creepy. Hmm. He was creepy. And then he just, like, slowly wandered off. And I was like, alright. There were some cave writings back there. Yeah, we could read them, because, you know, obviously. Alright. Yeah, he's still, you know, stomping away. There is a boat we can use, but there's no clear way to get to it yet. We're hoping that one of these paths that is currently blocked opens up at some point, and it gets us closer. See, there's two paths blocked by obelisks, and we don't know how to make the obelisks disappear. Ew, that's gross, Puppet God. And that would uh, constitute See? me having to buy mayo. Obelisk. And I really don't like the idea of just having to buy mayo. Because I don't want to waste food, but yuck. Having mayo in the house is never a good idea. True, Horror That King. is true. That is very true. You have a very good point there, Horror King. I wouldn't say it's a very good point, but yeah. it is a point. You stomp away, my dear. Stompity stomp stomp stomp. Well, like I said, it's been, you know, sitting down for 1800 years. Puppet God, it's got to be a little, you know, it's a little <laughs> slow sometimes. Hey, Pravda, what's up? You missed out on a chance to guess. And sadly, today it was Cola Bear. That's no, not true. You can see on stream that it's not, but that would have been very funny. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe there's something over here we haven't explored yet. That looks interesting. What is that? Is that a piece of metal? Okay, it's a metal obelisk. It has three sides. And I think I just saw something with tentacles. Sneaking around. I know I'd be going nuts. What? Stop it. It's got my daughter's voice. What are what are we supposed to do with this bad boy? Statue? Nope. I don't, Marissa.
Okay. Needle wetting? I can't read that word. Felting. Felting. No, yeah. I do not. I thought I saw the sun reflected in it, but oh yeah, no, it was the sun. Oh god, I what remember I was playing that. Uh, I was playing that game Adrift. You know, the one the developer of yelled at me for giving a bad oh. review. And there's this part where you're hovering outside a space station, and it's cast, and the sun is casting a harsh shadow on you uh, to be the, uh, you know, because you're floating inside a space station, and it's always day in space, right? So you, uh, so I, I turned around to look for the sun, and the developers forgot to put in a sun. They remembered to add bright light and shadows, but they forgot to put in the sun. Joanne, I figured out what Pravda meant. He took you, he took uh, your literal meaning. Oh, cool, uh, Marissa. To be, I've never heard um, of that. Neat. Uh, not nefarious. I will check it uh, out, Elliot. Why do you ask? Uh, a, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Pravda took poking to mean something other than literally poking. Oh, okay. What's the word I'm looking for? An innuendo? Maybe. He took yeah. it for an innuendo. Oh, That's why hilarious. That's like, calm down there. Scandalous. So we're back at the starting That's actually boat. one of my favorite things. Okay. When someone thinks you're, like, swearing or, or being, you know... Like, salacious. Salacious. Thank you. That was actually the word I was looking for I earlier. figured. Uh, or something like that. And you're actually just, you know, being as innocent as you can be. I.e., like, remember that time we were at the gaming night and we were... Over over at our gaming table, yeah. we're all talking about Jesus Christ. Uh, the and, second one is the worst unabridged. Continue. And, and so, and then someone flipped around because they're like kids who happened to be in the room at that moment was like, "Don't take the Lord's name in vain." And I was like, "Okay, weird guy, you do it all the time, but sure, whatever." And uh, everybody at my table was like, "No, we were actually talking about Jesus. It's a weird table over here." You know it, girl. <laughs> Hmm. What's going on with that bridge, though? Oh, I found some eggs! Oh. Giant eggs. Nothing over here, though. And the bridge, I'm concerned. But uh, I feel like taking his bath salts is less of a crime. Yep. Mm, burb eggs. Oh, Pravda, don't go! We will see you soon, Pravda. Where'd you see a weird tablet, Koa? Because all I saw was, uh, fish eggs. I like to worry. It's And planks no, of wood. I, I lie. And whatever the ha oh, it's a half a crate. Yeah, it was bird eggs. Okay, it was bird eggs you saw. Gotcha. Ah, interesting, Elliot. I had not heard of that. Although I never studied uh, higher math, so it just wouldn't have come up in my I education anywhere. Sounded familiar to me, not to you. Exactly. She's the expert in math. I can just do basic and math. By expert, he means I'm familiar with it. Yeah, that is and what I mean. grasp it rather quickly. Look at that little guy wandering off. I wonder what crazy adventures that obel that living obelisk is going to have. <sighs> Cut to obelisk having... Uh, Getting his big break in American Idol. Okay. Over here we've got... A severed arm tied to something. Something about Cthulhu, Realeth. Photogon. You know, the, awesome, the normal. HP Lovecraft it's Jive. good to be good at many different things. Oh, totes. Aww. That is adorable, Marissa. Thumbs up emoji.
Yeah, maybe the cave symbols were trying to tell us something? Oh, cool, Marissa. Now we know what you're talking about. We know that horror cave. It's weird how, like, there's this arbitrary limit where I can't walk one more step over these rocks to get to that sand. Ugh. The game puts up a lot of weird invisible walls. Not a lot has happened in this game right now to the point where I'm like, is the game just you walking around? The game is just you walking around. It's just not clear where we're supposed to walk next. Yeah. We that checked out the, the thing, obelisk. Uh, I hate the most in video games. I respect that. The idea of, like, open world video games without a set goals drive me insane. Hmm. I find it weird that there was nothing to do with the sphere or the triangular obelisk. And I also never do well in these kind of games because I never do what the developers expect me to do. I have broken so many, like, RPGs in this kind of setting. Like, oh, oh figure out where to go. Okay, I'll go here. That's not anything anybody logically thought you would do. We never did anything with wall. that key, though, did we? Hey, buddy. So you're not going anywhere, huh? I got you, Elliot. Don't worry about it. Oh, proud dog, baby deer. That's adorable. Baby deer is some of the cutest. Well, you can always just leave some food out for it. But remember to stay away. The worst thing you can do for deer is make them comfortable around people. Yeah. Because then they will get murdered. If they find food, great. And mother, you don't want them to associate mother deers will you often with the food, leave their babies, babies for very extended periods of time. Oh, yeah. Or sometimes their mothers get murdered, a la yes. Bambi. Damn that hunter. Try to make a Simpsons reference to the forest fire yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really unclear what the game wants us to do now. Oh well. Okay, sera, sera. We'll go back and check the cave and make sure the portal doesn't take us anywhere else. But, like, we lost the obelisk. Were we supposed to hop aboard the obelisk? No, obviously not. But, yeah, that would have been funny. We keep trying to find a deer on our favorite hiking trails like we did one time. We still haven't. So this thing here, like I feel like this is something is going to make this drop and you're going to be able to walk down there because, come on, can I just sneak past you? No. But it's not clear what I would do to make that drop. Well, that I've got a statue. A like yeah, but you can't use items from your inventory. Oh, weird. See? I feel like this Feels game like could this be better at communicating. Done. No, it's done. It's just not good at communicating with the audience. See, the problem is... Uh, this is a problem with all games that don't have extensive playtesting. But especially with games that are made by tiny teams. They all know exactly what the game is. And they spend so long with it. That they can't imagine a world where you don't know how to play their game. Yeah. Kajito ergo some. Uh, they make games that are impossible to get through. Not impossible, just difficult. Probably, Horror King, you should check out who the music's by later. I mean, I, it would be strange if the developer had... Uh, it's a one-man game, so it would be strange if the developer did the music for themselves. Right? And so you would just have to look up whose music they used. Ah, uh, no, that wasn't a cave. It was just a shadow. Hey, Logan, what's up? This is where a map would come in really handy. Just unbelievably handy. Also, we keep finding weird items not allowed to take with us. Creepy. Oh, that's going to be great, Pravda. We're all excited for the next part of Das Finale.
continuing the Girls and Panzer story. Will they make a video game uh, or a new update to the existing, a new video game or an update to the existing game? Probably not, but Hope Springs Eternal. Yeah, so here's the only cave we found. Here's some eerie symbols. Triangle with tentacles. Circle with nonsense. Bunch of foreign language. Kind of a fish creature with tentacles. We've got more nonsense. Uh, nonsense. Dinosaur. Fish man. Fish. Tentacle. And there's the obelisk! There's our buddy the obelisk! Hey, pal! I hope he's happy that we set him free. Uh, the voice kind of sucks at his job of, like, giving us more tasks after we, uh, set him free. Uh oh, cool prop I don't want to know in advance. So anyway, we're going to take a break from this because... That's not helpful. Well, no, uh, I was saying that was the emotion of the... Yes, I'm sure. That's the reason. Uh, we're going to take a break from this because we've just been walking around in circles for ten minutes. Maybe fifteen. And as much as I lo wa liked watching that obelisk stomp around, uh, that's not really a game, per se. So, developer, mm. if you happen to see this video... Hi! Uh, game looks great. It's got a nice atmosphere, but you are... Uh, you have not... How shall I put this? Flagged what players are supposed to do particularly well? And that is a problem. That is a, a legit problem with the game. Because... If we don't have direction, all there is for us to do is wander around and hope we stumble onto something. And that's not good game design, simply put. So anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. We'll see you back here uh, for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.